Hello friends, I am greeting you. My name is Thomas Gast. I am retired. But once, I was a member of the French Foreign Legion. Today, I like to share photographs and memories with you. That's right. No bullshit. Just good stuff. For you. Respectful of traditions. Devoted to your leaders. Discipline and comradeship are your strengths. Courage and loyalty, your virtues. So, hello again. If you missed the info about uh, my person, my name is Thomas Gast and uh, I'm German. I'm a German fellow and I spent 17 years, in these 17 years, in the French Foreign Legion. I engaged in 1985 and I left in 2002. I spent two years in the 3rd REI, the Jungle Warfare Regiment of the French Foreign Legion, 3rd Regiment Etranger d'Infanterie, followed by 15 years in the 2nd Rep, 2nd Regiment Etranger Parachutiste. Uh, my latest rank or my last rank was Adjutant, and my latest occupation has been uh, Platoon Leader and then Maître de Tier, what means Shooting Master of the 2nd Rep. Uh, and all the photos you can see today are from my active time in the French Foreign Legion. So let's start with the first photograph. Uh, yeah, here you can see a legionnaire of the 2nd Company, 2nd Company of the 2nd Rep. The photo was taken in the airport St. Catherine, uh, it's a close airport to our Camp Rafali. And they prepare, or he prepares, with his unit to jump over the Lac de Nino. And the Lac de Nino is in the high mountains of Corsica. He has on his back the parachute EPI, Element Parachutable Individuel. And uh, in front, the luggage is the AL-32 and AL-33. What means Element Largabel, uh, where he puts all this stuff inside, weapon, ammunition, and, and things like that. And the second company is, uh, they are keen, they are very tough in mountain warfare. So as you know better than I do, all, all companies of the second rep are specialized in a certain domain, right? <laughs> I love this photo. So we, right away, we go right away to the next one. Here we have, uh, we have been in Bosnia, 1992-1993. I was deputy platoon leader and all the three... Uh, all the three tanks you can see, they are VAB, Vehicle Avon Blinde, 13 ton infantry carrier, and the main armament is uh, Browning machine gun, caliber 50, and Canon 1, what means uh, a gun 20 millimeters. And uh, you know, you can imagine uh, if you can see the mountain in the back of the tank, the, Bosni uh, the Bosnian has been victim of the Chetniks, the Serbian guys, who bombarded, who launched uh, artillery and mortars on Sarajevo on a daily basis and on a night basis, day and night, night and day. So, uh, uh, and we was a little bit uh, a ping pong ball for the United Nations, for the Serb and for the Bosnian guy. So, I cannot find another word. Yeah. So, VAB, Vehicle Avant Blinde. This one, you can see on this web, web you can see uh, that they shooting at us all the time, all the time, even Bosnian guys or even Serbian guys. guys. So uh, it was not always funny. Uh, it was not always funny. And the problem with the tank was that all the technical stuff, you know, like cables and, uh, and you know, things like, which are uh, a little bit uh, vulnerable, are on the top of the VIB and the Serbian guys, they ne didn't need long time to find it out and they shoot directly on the vulnerable uh, items, you know. Here you can see a bullet hit the the VIB from, from behind and it passed through the VAP, but um, fortunately nobody was wounded this day. Uh, okay, this was our all day business. Uh, being target of bad guys, being target of bad guys. By the way, we had uh, 
one legionnaire who couldn't do it. His soul stayed in, uh, in Sarajevo. Uh, and a lot of other guys who was wounded very badly. I knew an English guy from the fourth company. He was wounded four times until the, the chef de corps, uh, the commander in chief of the regiment, say, stop, you don't go outside anymore because you are... You have uh, you are you are playing with God and the devil. <laughs> so here you can see the mortar shells uh, hitting very close to the airport, and when you see a little bit uh, closer, you can see that our roof is completely destroyed, and this was a result of the Chetnik mort uh, mortar bombarding. I, if I I don't have another word for this one, you know. So uh, Sarajevo was grey, was loud, noise of combat. You know, it was it was terrible. This is a T-55 uh, main battle tank of uh, close to Lukavica. And he, this uh, tank was in position and he was shooting at the airport. Uh, at the airport. Uh, next uh, photo. This photo came from 1985. And you can see here a bunch of legionnaires. Uh, five legionnaires. To the left side you can see a Hungarian guy. He was kicks. Then it's a Canadian guy. Then an Italian guy. Summer. The next one is uh, Williams. I think he is whether you from the United States or from Canada. I'm not sure about it. And to the right side, we have a Kaporashev. And they are, in the middle, they have uh, a born, uh, a frontier stone, a born, and I think it's born number six. And to find the born, this is one was one of our main occupation in French Guyana. And it was hard stuff because we had a, a, a rucksack on our back, 50 kilos inside, and the born normally, uh, you can not find it very easy because we did not have a global positioning system. So everything was done with azimuth and distance in the deep jungle of French for of 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 uh, in the deep jungle of Guyana, and this was very hard, very hard. And I think we had about seven borns to find. Uh, we cleaned them so they are visible for other guys who pass there by coincidence, by accident, whatever. <laughs> Let's see the next photo. I love this photo. It's, it tells me so much histories, so much pain, so much sweat, and also blood, you know. Uh, this was in French Guiana in 1985, and uh, we had a, uh, a guy, he called Cose, his name was Cose, and he died. His neck was broken, and we have to we prepare for the funeral. Uh, as you can see, all our uh, legion's traditions, uh, stuff like Capi Blanc, Epoulette de Tradition, uh, Centure Bleu, you know, uh, Fourager of the third REI, and uh, everything was, to say it in legion terms, Nickel Chrome, this was our tenue de parade. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, the soul of cause rest stayed in French Guiana. Uh, repose in peace. Uh, next one. This is the crest of the first company of the second rep, my company. And you can see the two, the number two and the left side. And this is for a second rep, second rep. Then you can see the old, old means that the first company is in this master of the night warfare, the parachute, only parachute regiment of the French Foreign Legion. And then the dragon. The dragon means that the company was involved in fighting in the in Indochina war in Vietnam. Next photo. Here you can see a friend of mine, this Gaulois, a French guy, with a spider. And this is a Goliath spider, Goliath Mugal. Uh, and uh, these kind of spiders, they are not dangerous. Uh, they are not dangerous. You can touch them, you can eat them. They taste very good. <laughs> and, uh, and to tell you, this was a small one. We had bigger ones, much bigger ones, you know. And so we have to fight. Uh, with the struggle with the weather because it rains it rained uh, every day 365 days a year you can we fight we fought with uh, poison snakes with spiders like this with garden perros you know illegal gold diggers and all this stuff uh, but this was a nice animal i like i like this one <laughs> next photo and this is a very genuine photo because this was so this is Mr. Dominic Vandenberg. And Dominic Vandenberg once was, or he, he is a former legionnaire who was in the first company with me, uh, in the first company of the second rep. Then when he left the French Foreign Legion, he was five years with the second rep. When he left the legion, he joined Hollywood and he played, he became an actor and he played uh, in Gangs of New York side by side with uh, Cameron Diaz. 
Cameron Diaz, you can see here on a photo, and Leonardo DiCaprio. What a great gentleman. Dominic, greetings to the United States of America. Dominic Vandenberg. Next photo. This photo was taken in 1986. And uh, the front man is Falco, Adjudant Falco. Adjudant at this time, but he left the French Foreign Legion as a Major. Falco, he was a tough guy. He was a, wow, a warrior, a real warrior. And you can find myself underneath the umbrella. Uh, underneath the umbrella. And we are making a defile in the Quartier Forger, uh, the main basis of the French Foreign Legion, of the 3rd REI in French Guiana. Right? Tough guys, tough guys. Uh, next photo, please. Uh, this is me, myself and I, as a young sergeant chef. Sergeant chef, it was maybe in the year 19... 96, 1996, so I was a young and a beau, I was a beau sergeant chef. Uh, and this photo was taken at the CMSO of the Conrad Valley, Circle Mixed Suisse Next photo. <laughs> yes, this was a couple of years later in Sarajevo, in Bosnia, but not in 1992, but in 1999. Uh, so we was there in the in the car of the Division Salamander. Uh, as you can see the Salamander badge on my left side, just above the tricolor. And as you can see by the fuller, by the yellow, yellow thing here on my shoulder, I was in the company Commander Mode the Service, the headquarters company. Uh, yeah, headquarters company. I remember very well. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my photographs and my memories. If you like my channel, subscribe. Thumbs up, but subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Amitié, légionnaire, your Thomas God. Bye bye. Allons, Girons, best en pantalons. Devoted to your leaders. Discipline and comradeship are your strengths. Courage and loyalty, your virtues.